Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be doing um, TDS meter calibration. Um, for this you will need uh, TDS meter fluid. In this case I have um, 342 parts per million TDS fluid calibration solution. Um, it's always a good idea to read the labeling or the package that it came on. On this one it says specifically um, that it needs to be done at 25 degrees Celsius. So, it is 24.9 degrees Celsius, 25 degrees Celsius in here. You want to give it a little bit of a shake, like so. It's very easy to do. And uh, so this is how you do it, basically. Alright, so you have your TDS fluid, 242 parts per million. And I'll just double check that that is focused for you guys. Here it is, there. Right, so 342 parts per million. Um, so all you do is this. I have two TDS meters here and one is kind of faulty and one isn't. I'm going to show you the difference. Okay, so this is my standard TDS meter. Probably, probably a lot of you guys have the same one. Back, front, very simple. Um, you will need a slot headed screwdriver small small one for the back and all you do is this you put the fluid down to the normal mark here where you normally measure your TDS in your water it goes in like so it's holding the guys there you go I'll switch it on Okay, this one says 342. You can see that there, clearly. It says 342. Now there is a parts per million of, of uh, salt con concentration that's in this little bottle. It says 342. So this TDS meter is calibrated. So I don't need to do anything with this. But if I did, if yours was off a little bit, there's a tiny screw hole here that you can put your screwdriver in and turn it. Just say you're off by like one or two points, you can actually turn this little screw left or right and it will adjust the readout on here to the correct readout and just match this readout up, up, up with the uh, amount of parts per million that it says in the bottle of your test solution. Right, so that's, that's how you calibrate a TDS meter. I'm going to show you this other one. Looks exactly the same. This is my old one on top, this is the new one underneath. The cases are exactly the same. Um, but the thing I noticed as soon as I pulled this new one out of its sheath is it's very light. And now that um, started alarm bells ringing for me because I'm, I wonder why this is different. So I took the end off the cap and I noticed inside as well is the diode's different. But that doesn't necessarily mean there's something wrong with it. Um, so anyway, shall we try and calibrate this one? See, you see it's calibrated. It's not calibrated there. there that's just the standard uh, start readout. Into the fluid we go. Same again, up to the little neck. Can you see that? It reads 291. So this uh, TDS meter is, what, 9... 51 points out. Now, um, TDS meters normally are um, guaranteed to be one to two points out at the most. So I thought, well, it's a new TDS meter. Maybe it just needs calibrate. So what do you do? You turn it over. And surprise, surprise. I don't know if you guys can see that in there. But there's not even a screw in there. There's no screw. And there's also no writing on the back that tells you how to calibrate it either. So, um, this is kind of a how to calibrate your TDS solution and a warning. And when you buy stuff from eBay, this is a good example of uh, probably a TDS meter that has failed quality control wherever it was made. And uh, they've actually kept all these TDS meters 
and they've, and they've sold them as if um, they've shipped them as if they're still working to unsus unsuspecting buyers. Now I bought this one off eBay. It was very cheap. Um, it was let me think about this. It was about five dollars. This other one that I have here that looks identical was um, twenty dollars. Um, and I will leave a link in the description to the seller because I had a little bit of a problem with him I'm getting my money back as well which I, th I didn't think was right because um, when you buy things on, on eBay if, if the item is not as described like you look at the back of this there's no calibration instructions there's no calibration instructions in the a little manual that you got with this one um, on the pictures on eBay it looked like this on the back this is what he sent me um, so I'll leave a link in the description to this listing so you can have a look for yourself hopefully it won't get deleted um, and just be aware because the reason I'm telling you this as well guys is because um, the guy has actually sold 1400 of these units and if they're all like this, faulty, that's 1,400 people have been ripped off. So I want to just make you guys aware of this particular problem. Um, also, when I asked the seller about this on eBay, he said he he told me it was self-calibrating, which is basically a lie. If it's self-calibrating, why in the pictures and the ones he sold me does it say calibrate with not any CI fluid? And he didn't have an answer for it. So I, I was back and forward with this guy for a little while. While telling him if he wanted this unit back, he has to send me the money to send it back. Because if you, on eBay, if you send someone um, an item that is not as described, and this is not, not as described, um, you don't have to pay shipping. You are entitled to a full refund. Um, so I let him know that's exactly what I wanted. I, I basically told them, um, you either send me a fully functioning, working TDS meter, I gave him the choice, I was fair, or you give me a full refund. And he opted to give me a full refund instead of sending me a TDS meter that worked. So, you can take from that what you will. I think it uh, points to maybe a little bit of fraudulent activity on eBay. But anyway, that is how you test and calibrate your TDS meters, and that's how you also check to see if you have a faulty one. Um, until the next time, thanks for watching.